Hello and welcome to Whiskey Resource. My name's Mark. It is Friday the 5th of June, so it's the first Friday of the month. So, as always, it is a special or limited bottle review that I'm going to be doing today. So, I've been a bit prepared for today. Um, today's review is going to be a um, signatory vintage. This is a Whiskey Exchange exclusive. It is the Deanston Distillery, a 2008 vintage, sherry matured um, single cask release from cask number 90075. Um, it's non chill filtered, it's natural colour, it's bottled at 66.6% .6 ABV. Um, Signature. Um, Vintage um, own Edredo, who I actually did a review of on Tuesday or Wednesday. So this is currently available at the Whiskey Exchange. It has a limited bottle number, uh, an outturn of five hundred and ninety-nine. Uh, it is still available. Retails for seventy-nine pound and ninety-five pence. Bought this a little while ago now and um, I've shared it so um, stewed whiskey and um, whiskey whims who we did dram exchanges with I've sent them a dram each of this whiskey and look how dark that is and that's that's natural color so it's um, sherry and matured so yeah stewed whiskey and uh, whiskey whims I'd like to hear what you think of this Whiskey, it's 66.6% .6 ABV, 11 year old, sherry matured. Um, you can go check out the detail on the Whiskey Exchange website and once this review is done, you can click the link that will be in the description, which will take you to my website. Uh, we'll have a right review as well as um, I'll provide a link to the Whiskey Exchange so you can take a look at it. Um, I'm not in any commission, you know, I'm not being promoted by Whiskey Exchange to do this. Um, I bought the Deanston simply because I was blown away by the 12 year old so you can go check out that review um, I was blown away by it it's my highest scoring um, standard core release um, single malt so far that I reviewed um, and that got 90 out of 100 special releases um, which this is um, I'm gonna give it a score um, but that score is going to be a special release score it's not going to be a single malt score even though it is a single malt. Confused? Right, so in terms of a value score for this then, because you can still buy it, even though it is a uh, limited release. Um, so I'll just go over the facts, facts again. It is 11 year old. It is non-chill filtered. It is natural color. It is cask strength. It is single cask. Um, it's retail price is 79 pound and 95 pence. So it gives it a value score of 98.78. So that's out of a hundred. So the ha the closer it is to a hundred, the better value it is. So for every pound you're paying, you're getting a better value product, and it's simply helped by the fact that it's sixty six point six percent ABV. It's a single cask. It's cask strength, um, as well, and that all helps in the calculation to give us this uh, value score. So I said I was prepared. What I've done is uh, before I started the video, I poured a 30 mil measure of the whiskey. I then added in water to dilute it down to 45% ABV. And I've also poured a um, measure here which hasn't had any water added in. So you can see the this one's got a bit more because it's a beast and it needs water. So I've diluted it down to 45% ABV. Um, you'll each have your own levels that you prefer. I actually love this neat, but there's so much going on on the nose and the palate, it's really hard to pull out some of those um, notes because the sherry influence is so damn gorgeous. So I'm gonna do a nosing first of all on the 66% uh, ABV, 66.6% uh, .6 ABV, 
and then I'll be doing the nosing and the tasting on the diluted because this is just going to destroy my palate at this ABV and I don't think I'll be able to pick up anything on the diluted. So on the nose, it's fruity, it's sherry, it's rich. Touch of vanilla going on there. I have to give me always a bit of a breath for me then I like because that's um that's just alcohol, strong alcohol. Ooh, boy. Getting coffee. Like espresso strength coffee. Dark chocolate. Sweet. Very sweet. It's just it's just unbelievably rich and to be honest, whilst I love tasting it this strong, the nose has just got so much going on, you can't really decide what is going on. So we'll go over to the, the diluted down. So it's 40, 45% of there, thereabouts. There's no scotch mist right now because it's too close to the 46, I suspect. So maybe if I put a touch more water in, we'll see what happens. It's on the nose, that's calmed it down a bit. It's a bit more musty. I'm getting cherry banana pears sweet chocolate fruit cake marzipan it's still still strong on the nose That's just, that's just wonderful. It's on the palette. Raisins, cherries, dark fruits of a Christmas cake, marzipan, chocolate, spices of cinnamon, a little bit of nutmeg, pepper. It's still rich and oily. The water's calmed the legs down quite a lot. I mean, there still is. I don't know if you can see any of them legs. Clinging the glass. And that's diluted down to 45. Let's see what we'll get on this. Not really as. Well, oh, there they are. Anyway, it's chocolate. And then at the finish you get bitter oak, a bit of mustiness, a bit of damp cardboard. That bitterness, the, the drying bitterness that coats the tongue, prickles the tongue. Quite waxy. Chilly. I'm gonna check the whiskey exchange website and make sure it's still available. Because I don't wanna go telling you that it's not available anymore. I'm telling you it is and then it's not, so we'll have a look. Yeah, it's still there. It's still available. God knows how many bottles there are left. Um I'll just show you the label. So you can see it on the website, but um, it was bottled on the 13th of August 2008. Sorry, distilled the, the 13th of, uh, of August 2008. Bottled on the 29th of August 2019. Uh, 599 bottles. Doesn't actually give you a bottle number. 
on these bottles. So it's gorgeous, absolutely mesmerizing. What does it taste like neat? Well, it's warming, it's musty, it's sweet. So much fruit going on there. So much fruit. Um, I mean, the Whiskey Exchange, you can go and check their website, but they start with Pan of Raisin, sweet and sticky pastry. Um, rich creme patisserie. Um, and Christmas cake and all those flavours. I mean, I'm not so sure about the um, Pan of Raisin and the, the creme patisserie because I don't eat that many kind of those desserts, but it certainly is fruitcake and it's musty and it's strong and it's tasty. The nose is very musty. How does it compare to the Edra dough that I had on Wednesday? Well, I didn't give that a, um, a score in the video, I don't believe, but I'm just gonna remind myself if I actually did score it. Because I think I did on the website. So I scored it a 90, the Edra Dua. This is really difficult, this, because I think it just edges out the Edra Dua. But then it's a stronger ABV and it's one year less in the cask than the edge of this one but I don't know if one year would make that much of a difference that the strength isn't making up for I've still got some edge Ah, you see I'm getting more coffee on the edge Ah, Alice, the edge is more bitter. It's not as sweet. They are, they are different sherry bombs. This is bear with me. I think the Deanson just has it. I want to give the Deanson ninety one. It is so nice. This is this is this is the kind of whiskey that I love drinking. Now, I want to put a bit more water into this because, because I want to see the scotch mist if there is any. So I put a decent dump of water in there. There you go. Don't know if you can see that, but that's that's clouded up straight away compared to how it was. There's the scotch mist formed. So yes, I'm gonna give this a 90, 91, 91 out of 100. It is spectacular. Sorry the video's gone on for a while, but with a whiskey like this, it takes time. And I poured them 20 minutes before I started the video. So, stewed whiskey. Stuart and Stuart, it was Gooms. Um, 
and tell us what you think of them and um, go ahead and check out the whiskey exchange website and see what you think because I'd love to buy another bottle to keep for a few years down the line um, but I'm all spent up for this month so <laughs> I hope to stay in stock for July later